Hello and a warm welcome to everyone across the globe. We should be on the way very shortly. The players will be with us any time now. My name's Peter Drury and here's my co-commentator for the game, it's Jim Beglin. Hello Peter and hello to everyone watching. For me, it's a, it's a real thrill to be here. Players stand shoulder to shoulder, singing the national anthem. of the national anthem of Brazil. Look at them now. we go then Fabinho Philippe Coutinho tries a through ball now here's the through ball Fabinho. Brazil get it back again. Pumps it upfield. He's made sure that that won't get through. Passes it through. Keeper's got good distance on that. Firmino. Now it's Philippe Coutinho. Great leap! Goal! Brazil! And Brazil take the lead! Great corner, and he did the rest. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. Brazil have an early lead. Good start. Loose ball, who's going to get that? Who's going to make this theirs? Well positioned to make that interception. With a delicate ball. Non-shell pass, that's the message there. 
deftly done. Casemiro. Promising cross. And the keeper's in command. Forward it goes. Danilo. Danger averted for now. And it's Danilo. And that's a foul. Simple decision for the referee. There could be trouble here. But for now, the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. Well, he rushed into that and didn't give anyone a chance to get on the end of it. Can he find a finish now? Well, that's where he wants it. Thiago Silva battles to win it back. Casemiro knocks it towards the front. Oh, no question, that's a foul. Firmino looks to dink one in. Turns and goes back. Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Well, I can only add that he's got reflexes that are in perfect working order, Peter. That was very good to watch. <laughs> Towering header! No, he didn't quite meet it right. Boon forward. Oh, he's caught him there. It's a free kick. <laughs> Firmino. Chance to shoot. And in again. Just off target. Gets up to head it! Went with his head, but couldn't steer it in. Yeah, with him being under pressure from a couple of opponents, I thought he showed real determination to get some sort of attempted goal, and we have to give him credit, at least for that. Fabinho, who has made his impact already. A poorly directed kick from the keeper, he's given it away. Casemiro tries to get it forward quickly. There really wasn't very much in that, not far away from being a telling final ball. Yeah, the communication lines were working really well, but the supply line just had a bit of a blockage. Ball's out on the left now. Ball's out, it'll be a throw in again. Aimed long and direct. Marquinhos pumps it upfield. Yeah, it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. Uh, looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Firmino! Oh, what a save. He had a long way to go. Well, what a tester for the goalkeeper because it was struck with real venom and I thought he dealt with it really well. Marquinhos. Now the pass. Alexandro looks like a good ball through. Firmino. 
gets it upfield. Defenders on the back foot. It's come loose. Fabinho gets good distance on it. Oh, good interception. And he's there to hoof it away. Fired in from distance. That intervention was very necessary. Crosses one in. Clears it out of harm's way. Now the cross. Well, they would seem to be trying to expose the centre of that defence to... And that'll be the last act of the first half. Any opinion you'd like to express on the first half? Well, the advantage might be a slender one, but all the evidence points to a, a much more successful second half. They've got so much power compared to this opposition, and it's just a case of finding that extra gear, and I think they'll power on through. Brazil leading a cagey game here. It's had its moments, and it's 1-0 at the break. Here we go again. Brazil carry a one-goal lead into the second half. It's a long forward pass. Nothing wrong with that tackle. Ball won cleanly. Tries a through ball. Throw in. Casemiro, Alexandro. Tries the route one option, looks to slip it through. Away from immediate danger. Oh, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Tries one! And that would have been some goal. Yeah, I thought he did very well to make the most of the space down the middle. It's good, intelligent play. And he's got his range wrong there. Danilo. Coutinho. Oh, well intercepted. Really alert to the danger. Out to the left it goes. Strong challenge, but well within the laws. Tries to get it forward quickly. Roberto Firmino with the ball through. And that'll go straight through to the keeper. Casemiro proves too strong there. He goes long. Aimed long and direct. Brings it forward goes long out wide to the right well he acknowledges that he should have come up with well, that's clear cut it's a free kick the referee has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket it's just a stern lecture Managed to get it away. This defence is, is wary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight? Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. Hits one! 
He's missed, but not by that far. Oh, he couldn't have hit that any better, and any other time it would have sneaked in. It so nearly came off for him. Well, in all honesty, he's tormented that defence. They just can't handle him. Your impression so far, Jim? There's a lot of football still to be played, Peter, so ideally they need to maintain a, an attacking endeavour. Well, he seems to be operating on a wavelength all of his own. I don't know what he was trying then. He'll have a dip! That is wayward. I think he's done very well to get into such a good position in front of the goal, but he just couldn't put in the telling touch. Casemiro. Well, no doubt someone is being given special treatment here. Well, they know he's the root of potential problems, Peter, and they seem intent on uprooting that problem like that. Tried to play it through. I timed his run brilliantly, and I think he has every right to be a little annoyed with, with the passer then, and I think he's letting him know right now about that. Just a little more behind it was needed. Well, there is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Alexandro has created one goal already. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Philippe Coutinho gets his foot in there. Crunching tackle. I have to say, that was an exemplary tackle. Stopped him dead in his tracks. Tries a long pass towards the front. And out to safety. Fires it in low. That's gone a long way up and away. And he has been fouled there. And the referee has shown him a yellow card. Has a pop! Oh, and that should have been two. Yeah, he knew only too well that to concede then would have been tough to recover from. That could prove a big moment in this game. Oh, he really wanted that. Well, he went at it with great confidence, and it's not going to stop him from trying again. Alexandro boots it upfield. Five minutes left on the clock. Just a few more moments for them to hang on. Good idea, just poorly executed. Now the pass. Lovely bit of skill. Played into the middle. Good clearance and very necessary. Who's going to make this theirs? Passes it through. And he's onside! Keeper's got good distance on that. And time is up. Terrific contest. It really might have tipped either way. The margins were tiny. Just a goal in it. But that was enough. Well, you know, it's not easy to hold on to a lead over a long period, but I thought they showed great shape and good discipline to see the whole thing through. Well, that's it for tonight's match. So it just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin alongside me and to wish you all a very good evening.
Senhoras e senhores, atenção. 